All right, let's learn how to make this really cool little um, tissue paper monarch sun catcher. They're pretty neat with the light shining through the wings there. Um, you know, these really amazing insects travel thousands of miles, some of them 3,000 miles, all the way from Canada down to Mexico every year to spend the winter where it's warm. So they're pretty amazing and a little bit mysterious. I think they've earned a place on your ofrenda. So let's learn how to make one today. What you're gonna need for this is um, a black rectangle of construction paper, some orange tissue paper, um, grab this guy, this kind of, um, it's a half a butterfly pattern tracer. Um, you'll need a glue stick, some scissors, something to write with. And if you want, and if you have one at home, you could use a hole punch for this project, but you don't absolutely have to have it. So if you don't have one at home, that's no problem at all. All right, so what you're gonna need to do is grab one of your black rectangles and you're gonna fold it in half. Okay, just like that. So I've got my fold side over here. Then I want you to take that butterfly and place the half, so the half the body right there, right on the fold line, okay? So make sure, this is important, make sure it goes on the fold, okay? We don't want the body to be over here on the open side. We want it to be on the fold line, okay? Lay that there and trace. And trace the wing. And trace the body and the head. Okay? Once you have that traced, I don't know if you can see my lines very well. Once you have that traced, go ahead and cut it out. And if I am going too fast, you can always pause the video. It's a really cool thing about um, video tutorials is that you can work at your own pace. Feel free to pause, uh, rewind if you need to, and rewatch. Okay. Remember with our cutting, our scissor hand stays in one place and we are gonna turn the paper. Okay, so this is good practice. We're cutting through both layers of construction paper here, which is kind of tough to do. It's a good challenge, okay? All right, get that butterfly cut out. Now, since we cut through two layers and we had it folded, when you open it up, you're gonna have a full butterfly. Isn't that cool? But before we do that, we need to get these areas that are gonna be orange on the wings. Okay, so what I need you to do is get it back to folded in half, just like that. And what I want us to do first is just draw a line from right up here at the top of the body down to the bottom to kind of finish, finish off the body there, okay? Now I'm drawing with this um, kind of a silver pen so that you can see where I'm drawing, but you could draw with anything. It could just be a pencil or um, any color. It doesn't matter. You're not really gonna see it that much, okay? Mine you can see pretty good, but that's just because I want you to be able to see it in the video, but you don't have to draw with something that shows up really good. It could just be a black pen or a pencil, whatever you have, okay? Next step, we are going to um, draw some shapes to get this, um, these areas where our orange will be. So what I need you to do is you're gonna put your, your pen or pencil um, kind of right here on the body, but down a little bit from the top of the wing. So here's the top of the wing. I'm gonna come down just a little bit, and then I'm gonna draw a line all the way around my wing, staying kind of close to the edge of the wing, and then I'm gonna loop back around back to my body. Okay, so just like this, start on the body, Go around, kind of close to the edge of my wing. 
and then loop back around to the body. Okay? We're going to repeat the same thing down here for the bottom part of the wing. I ended right here, so I'm going to scoot down the body just a little bit. Okay, so skip down a little. And then you're going to do the same thing. We're going to come out here close to the edge of the wing, loop around, and come back to the body. Just like this. Okay, so there you can see my lines. I have black going all the way around the edges, and then I have these areas in the middle, and that's what we're gonna cut out to become orange. Now you can see in this one here, I have a line going down the middle. If you would like something like that, you can draw an extra line starting from out here and coming, coming into the body. If you want to do something like that, you can, okay? Um, if it helps you to mark where the orange is gonna be, you can just put a big X in those areas so you know those are the parts you're gonna cut out. Um, sometimes that's helpful to make marks like that, okay? And then the rest we're gonna leave black. So I'm gonna actually leave this also. You don't have to do this line down the middle if you don't want, you could cut out this whole thing. That uh, is totally up to you. Now, here's the part where I said if you have a hole punch, it's kind of handy, but if you don't have one, that's okay. Um, if you have a hole punch, you can just go right into those areas that we're gonna cut out, those areas where I put an X, and just punch a quick hole. Ooh, and look, I had a bunch of confetti in there waiting for me. Okay, um, the hole there gives us a nice, Place for our scissors to start so you can stick one of your um, blades in there and that's where we can start cutting um, if you don't have a hole punch that's all right I'll show you how to start a hole so all you need to do is kind of bend your paper now we're not going to crease it really hard because I don't really want to fold there but bend it over just a little bit and then and you've got a hole there okay that's a really cool quick way to get started because we're not going to cut from the edge we're just going to cut out this um, middle part okay so go ahead and cut out um, the parts where we put the X's and once you get it cut um, we are ready to move on and get that orange in there. All right, so um, you can see here I have my spaces cut out. If you're not quite done cutting, that's okay. Just pause the video until you're ready. Once you are all cut out, though, we are ready to glue on the orange part. Um, since we did some writing on this side, this is going to be the side where we put the glue. So go ahead and grab your glue stick. You're also gonna need to have your um, pieces of orange tissue paper close. And you're gonna put glue all over this side of the wing, okay? So this is the part that we wrote on. We drew our lines on. That's gonna be on the back now. So we won't see any of those lines. Okay, so I put glue all over. Now I'm going to just lay some orange right on top of there. Okay, it goes totally off the edge of my wing, and that's exactly what it's supposed to do. Okay, smush it all down so it sticks really good. And then you can open up your butterfly and check it out. I've got some extra glue in there, but it's going to dry and look really great. That's just some glue. Let's get that smeared around a little, okay? So I got one wing done. I bet you can guess what we're going to do on the other side. I think it's the best strategy to lay it out flat while we put our glue on. If we, put, if we had it folded still while we put glue on this side, we would definitely get lots of glue on our wing. So... Lay your butterfly out flat. Add glue to this side. 
and stick down our orange. Isn't that so cool? Very simple. This is a really fun way to make a sun catcher. So now the next step, we're gonna have to trim off this extra. All right, and there we have a really cool monarch butterfly. Now, if you want, you can add some more details to it. Monarch butterflies usually have some white dots along the edges of their wings, so you could add that on with crayon or paint or a cool um, white marker. Um, you notice on this one, it has some black spots inside of the orange parts. Um, those came from when I used a hole punch. So here's some of my hole, my um, little dots for my hole punch. So you can use those if you were using a hole punch. Or if not, you could just cut some yourself or some small little specks. They don't have to be perfect circles. Those could look really cool glued on inside your wings. I'm just using these leftover scraps here that I cut out from inside the wings. Um, you can, so these are really handy um, to use to add some extra details. I am gonna cut some really thin little strips, two of them, one. Can you guess what I'm gonna make with these? So you can make a couple butterflies if you want. You could make them out of a different color. You can make a different kind of butterfly whatever you want. Um, remember those monarchs are pretty special to Day of the Dead because they fly so far and get down there right around that time. So pretty, pretty cool, pretty cool insect. One of my favorites for sure. In fact, this time of year um, in Kansas, we'd have a few monarchs coming through once in a while. Um, I've seen a couple in the last couple weeks. They're on their way to Mexico. So um, if you're out on a walk or hanging out in your yard, keep your eye out for monarchs. You might see one. And if you see it, say hola and adios because it's on his way to Mexico.